Hello friends and welcome to YouTube channel Freedom Tech and in this session we are going to configure the ESP8266 WLAN interface and the access point with the help of MicroPython on our Raspberry Pi 4 Raspbian OS. Okay, so before we move to our practical friends, if you learn something from our videos, please consider to subscribe our channel. Okay friends, thank you so much and just let's start. So friends, in last video we have installed the MicroPython firmware on our ESP8266 with the help of Raspberry Pi 4 Raspbian OS and today's video as I told you we are going to see how to configure the network interface which is the WLAN means the STA station mode and access point uh, how to configure all two uh, network interface with the help of MicroPython also with the help of the Raspberry Pi 4 Raspbian OS of course so simply if you don't know how to install the MicroPython firmware First watch the video where I have already explained how to use the Tony Python ed editor and how to use the Raspbian OS to install the MicroPython on ESP8266. Okay, so let's just start it. So simply here I have already installed the MicroPython firmware. Now simply you need to first import the network. Import network and then we are going to create the two functions. The first function for STA mode and the second function uh, second function for the access point mode. So we are going to first create the STA mode. So dev do connect do underscore connect. This is what our function do un uh, underscore connect. You can mention any name. Okay. So do underscore connect. Now we are going to create here a variable and the variable name is wlan is equal to. Now we are going to use the network because we import the network module so network network dot wlan capital wlan and inside that we are going to mention our station mode so network station mode for configuring the wlan interface okay so network dot sta capital sta if stands for the interface then we are going to mention here wlan variable because this WLAN variable is now become our station interface because we mentioned it okay so WLAN dot active inside that true okay then we are going to create a if condition so if not WLAN dot is connected is connected like this way if not WLAN is connected then we are going to simply print a simple text or you can call a simple statement which is print oh sorry not print which is connect connecting to network connecting to network okay then we are going to use again WLAN variable and we are going to connect the interface the station interface with our hotspot or maybe with our router okay so wlan dot connect connect inside a bracket double quote column again double quote so first double quote we are going to mention the hotspot ssid or either router ssid okay then second double quote we need to mention the hotspot password or either the router password so you need to mention the password that's it so we have wlan.connect and inside that we have my hotspot password and my hotspot ssid this is what the ssid the first one is ssid of the hotspot and second is the uh, hotspot password okay and then what we are going to do we are going to simply create the while loop okay so while not wlan dot is connected connected what will be happen we are going to pass what pass print okay we are going to print here we are going to print the if config so network dot config network dot config then like this way network dot config then again we are going to use our wlan variable wlan dot if config for 
showing the IP address when we connect with the router when our ESP266 station mode or double line interface connect with the router or either hotspot after that it will show the IP address for showing the IP address we use the if config command so if config what WLAN is our station uh, station mode so WLAN dot if, con if config double co double bracket and complete the packet that's it we have completed our function now simply we are going to call our function do underscore c o n n e c t do connect n n c t that's it now simply we need to save the file so we are going to save the file inside a micro python device and i'm going to mention the network dot file this is what the name is okay and simply we are going to run our script Connecting network. And as you can see, it's connected with the my hotspot and it says the 192.168.0.104 is the IP address of our ESP8266 WLAN interface. So both the Raspberry Pi 4 and ESP8266 connect with the same hotspot. So if I run the command on our Raspberry Pi 4, as you can see the Raspberry Pi 4 IP address of the WLAN interface what? 192.168.0.100 the same network 192.168.0.104 now i can ping esp8266 192.168.0.104 as you can see i can successfully ping the raspberry pi 4 successfully connect with the esp8266 wlan interface means we have successfully configured the wlan interface now we are going to configure the access point okay so simply here we are going to create our second function so let's just create second function def do underscore connect one connect one you can mention any name i am going to mention do connect one then again here we are going to uh, pass just a variable ap for access point ap is just a variable you can mention any variable ap is equal to network dot WLAN and inside that right now we are going to mention the AP access point mode so network dot capital AP okay then underscore IF means the interface that's it then of course AP dot active true we need to active the interface then AP dot config and inside that we are going to mention the access point SSID which we are going to basically set and the access point password so mention the access point uh, name whatever you want and mention the strong password so like this way we are going to mention ESSID is equal to ESSID is equal to mention the access point name I am going to mention uh, let's say OpenCV Freedom Tech, open CV freedom tech is whatever ESP8266 access point name then comma then password password is equal to you need to set the strong password so I am going to mention the strong password but the same password open CV freedom tech open CV freedom tech that's it complete the bracket so this is like this way ap.config SSID the name for the uh, ESP8266 access point and password for the ESP8266 access point. Remember one thing you need to mention the strong password if you mention the normal password it will not set the password okay so uh, mention the strong password then we are going to simply print print again network dot config and this time we are going to mention ap dot if config because we mentioned ap as a variable and this ap is basically our access point so ap dot if if config ap dot if config and complete the bracket now we are ready and we need to simply call our function so this is what our first function for configuring the wlan interface then do underscore connect one and save the code okay and just run the script 
as you can see we have successfully configured the network means we have successfully configured our access point so our access point ip is 192.168.4.1 and if you go here on our raspberry pi 4 wlan interface you will see here our esp826 access point name okay as you can see what is our access point name open cv freedom tech and it shows here open cv freedom tech is our access point which right now available so simply we are going to connect with our esp826 access point to, uh, to our raspberry pi 4 wi-fi okay so connect here we need to mention the password so mention the password which you have mentioned here like in my case i have mentioned the open cv freedom tech is the password so open cv freedom tech you can just check it what we mentioned open cv freedom tech okay just hide characters click on okay now it will connect our raspberry pi 4 wlan interface will connect with the esp8266 access point as you can see it's connected as you can see it's connected now if i open the terminal this is what our raspberry pi 4 terminal i just want to let zoom in zoom in and uh, here it is whatever the raspberry pi 4 ip address before connected uh, with the access point the ip address is 192.168.0.100 now if i run the if config command as you can see 192.168.0.0 uh, not 0 4.2 so 4.2 means we have successfully connect our Raspberry Pi 4 with our ESP8266 access point because the ESP8266 access point, what is the IP address? 192.168.4.1 and the second range 192.168.4.2. If I ping with our access point 68.4.1, hit enter, oh, it get double G, just hit enter and what is what is basically happening here network is unreachable this is just this is not a problem but as you can see it takes a little bit time friends it's not a problem but now as you can see we are successfully ping with our esp8266 access point so we have successfully created a function for connecting the configuring the or you can say connecting for wlan interface also the access point of our ESP8266 with the help of MicroPython on our Raspberry Pi 4 Raspbian OS. I hope you will learn something from this video. We will meet our next video. Till then, thank you. Check it and bye-bye.